Quadratix word problems on revenue, profit, yield. So what is revenue? First of all, revenue is the amount of money you bring in when you sell something. A lot of students have trouble figuring out what's the difference between revenue and profit. And I normally tell my students a story about how you would have handled a lemonade stand when you were a child. You would get your mom to bake you some cookies and make up some lemonade and give you some paper cups and you'd go sit outside and you bring in all this money and think you were rich and what you were bringing in what you put in your little basket of money is your revenue but actually what the profit is is your revenue minus you your expenses so whatever your your parents had to pay to buy the lemonade for the ingredients for the cookies or maybe boxed cookies and your paper cups, once you subtract off all those expenses, then you have what we call profit. So most of these word problems um, at the grade 10 level generally just ask for revenue, um, sometimes profit, yield will be something you see maybe in grade 11. So it's a type of word problem that you're going to see over and over again, even into calculus. So it's easy to understand. I'll make it very clear and I'm sure you'll be able to do any of these by the time you're finished. Okay, so let's look at a problem. It says studies have shown that 500 people will attend a high school basketball game when the admission price is $2. In the championship game, admission price will increase. For every 20 cent increase, 20 fewer people will attend. What price will maximize revenue? Okay, so on my second sheet here, I have a little outline on, on what you should be thinking about and doing as you're, as you're uh, working the question. So the first thing you need to know is to figure out what you're trying to maximize. So the word problem, the last question obviously is going to tell you, it says what price will maximize revenue? So we're trying to maximize revenue. The second step is to write out an equation that shows what the revenue is now before any changes. So I always tell my students to do this one first because everyone knows how to do this. What's their revenue rate now? So right now, 500 people go for $2 a ticket price. So I would put 500 times $2. And I'm going to put it with decimals because we have the uh, the pennies in here, 20 cents. So 20 cents is 0 0.20 dollars. So I have this, this is the number of people. So I'm gonna put number over top, and this is my money here. So right now, you'd say they, they made $1,000 a game. So the next step is to do, 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 figure out what the changes are. One of the variables in your equation will go up, or down. In this example, the people went down when the price went up. All right? So the people, less people will go to the game when you raise the price. So on the side here, I would say, okay, so it said there's a 20 cent increase. So 0 0.20. So it's going to go up 20 cents and what happens is 20 fewer people will go. So this is, this is my number of people and this is my money. And together the two of them multiplied give me revenue. So the fourth step, you're going to put an X after each of the changes with a plus sign if it's going up and a minus sign if it's going down. Match these changes in people and ticket price to your equation. Okay, so this one I'm going to put 0.20x and that's plus because it's going up and this one is going down every time I change it by one. So I'm going to let x represent, and you need a, a statement, let x represent the number of um, 20 cent increases, the number of increases. It's really important that you understand this is a number of increases. So in other words, if I said, okay, if I raise the price by 20 cents, if I raise the price by 20 cents, 
20 few people go. If I raise it by 40 cents, so if I put an X is two here, so if I raise the price 40 cents, 40 less people will go. And so you can see that every time I change the X, I'm doing is a multiple of the 20 cents and a multiple of the number of people that are going. So now I want to put these little changes into my equation that I've already done here. So I had my revenue now, and now I'm going to have a revenue maximized. Now often I'll get students who'll say to me, well, how do I maximize it? What is, what is a trick to maximizing? Well, if you watch here, if I take the 500 here and I'm going to subtract 20x, so what I'm doing basically is I'm setting up a quadratic in factored form. So I have 2 and I'm going to add 0.2x. So there's my equation now. I have a quadratic in factored form and it will be uh, concave down because if you look when I multiply this minus 20x times plus 0.2 that's going to give me a negative x squared. In other words concave down and that means a maximum, right? Okay, so step five says now you have an equation in factored form. Find the zeros for each factor and add them together and divide by 2 to find the x-coordinate of the axis where the maximum is. Okay, so I know that these, if I solve for each of these, I would get the zeros of the function or the x-intercepts, right? So if I do this question here, so this little problem, so if I say 500 minus 20x equals 0, 500 equals 20x and x is going to be equal to I get the zeros off and I get 25 and for this question here 2 plus 0.2x I'm going to set that equal to 0 0.2x is equal to 2 um, minus 2 and x is equal to minus 10 Okay, so now that I've found those two zeros for my function, this is what I've done, right? I've got my parabola like this. And remember, these are the number of increases. So 10, 20, so 25, let's see, is here. And that's my minus 10. And right in the middle, I'm going to have my maximum. So again, this is, you know, you found the zeros, find the axis of symmetry. So the axis of symmetry is going to be, so the axis of symmetry is going to happen when I add these two together. So minus 10 plus 25 divided by 2, that's going to give me 15 divided by 2 or 7.5. Okay, now when you get this answer, 7.5, this is representing the number, remember we said it was the number of 20 cent increases. So this isn't a ticket price and sometimes students get mixed up with that. So I state that in this summary, we'll look at this again as we finish this question off, that this number is the number of increases of 20 cents, not the ticket price. So this says I need seven and a half increases of 20 cents. So 7.5 times 0 0.20, that's going to give me a dollar 50, right? So I want to um, increase by a dollar 50. So therefore the ticket price, now there's another way to show where these answers come about. Let me just get this one out of the way here. The ticket price should be, so I have two dollars and it's right here, right? Two dollars plus 0 0.2 times x. So this is my money here. So I want two dollars and I'm multiplying this by 7.5 which is what I did over here. So the new price should be two dollars plus $1.50, 
which is $3.50. So that's the price of the ticket they should be using. Okay, so from this um, question, you can also be asked another couple of questions because we had the, the maximum revenue, okay, where the maximum revenue was this equation. I'm just gonna write it out again. 20x times 2 plus 0.2x. So this represented the um, dollar value here, and this is the number of people. So I said I needed seven and a half increases. So I can figure out the maximum revenue by plugging in seven and a half here and seven and a half here, 7.5. And I could tell you the number of people the number of people that will go, well, that's just going to be 500 minus 20 times 7.5, because 7.5 was where the maximum was going to be. So this is going to give me, um, that's 150. So 350 people. And the ticket price, ticket price, we already determined that we said it was two plus 0 0.2 times 7.5, and that gave us $3.50. So the revenue maximized, here's my number, so that's 350 times and $3.50, and that comes out to 1225. So our concluding statement is going to be, therefore to maximize maximize revenue you should price the tickets at three dollars and fifty cents okay three dollars and fifty cents and 350 people will go or will attend and your revenue is maximized maximized at one two two five so the question that we had here it said what price will maximize revenue so the only answer you needed to give for this question was this value here of three dollars and fifty cents per ticket but you could be asked how many people will go and what is the maximum revenue and that's why I just figured this out for you. Okay, so again, you wanna figure out what you're trying to maximize, write an equation for now, and we're gonna do one more example, so we'll do all these again. I guess I don't really need to read those to you. You'll you follow along as we do the next question. Okay, so nice personal question here. It says, Ms. Havrat set up a photo booth and found that she could sell 30 photos per day at $10. A survey showed that for each 50 cent decrease in price that she could sell two more photos. What price would maximize her daily revenue? Okay, so you first of all, you want to write out, again, the revenue. Now, revenue, so I'm maximizing revenue. So I'm gonna say revenue right now without any changes. How much is she making right now today without this survey that is trying to tell her what to do? So 30 photos at $10. That's easy for you to figure out. Now, what you should do here is write over top which one is the number. So this is the number of photos and this is the price. So we put them together. And then over here, we're gonna say the survey showed for the each 50 cent decrease so if I go down 50 cents, I'm going to sell two more photos. Okay, now remember the next step is to add an X to these and plus or minus. So I went down for every 50 cents I go down X, I would go up to X. So let X represent the number of 50 cent decreases. Okay, again, remember this is the number of decreases, the number of decreases, 
that's important. Okay, so this is my money here, and these are my numbers here, and now I just have to match them back into this equation. And I'm going to end up with a lovely factored question. So I have 30 plus 2x times $10 minus 0.5x. So in other words, if I did, if I went down $2, or so let's, let's say I go down a dollar, I'll put x is 2. So I would go down a dollar, I get four more. So if the price, let's just do a couple of these so you understand. So 50 cents decrease of 50 cents gives me two customers, two more customers. And if I multiply this by two, so a dollar decrease gives me, I put in two, so it gives me four more and so on. So you can see all you have to do is keep changing the x and you end up with a really nice parabola, right, like this. And again, it's going to have a maximum value. It's going to have a maximum because if I expanded this, you'd see the coefficient of x squared would be negative because I've got one up, one down. It's going to be negative. That means it's concave down. Okay, so now that I have my factored form of my quadratic, I can find the zeros very easily. That's the next step. So 30 plus 2x is equal to 0. 2x equals negative 30. x is equal to negative 15. That's the 0 for this one. So this would be, if we put this on an axis here, this is going to be minus 15. Okay, and this one, 10 minus 0.5x equals 0. Um, well, I'm just going to change it all so that it's going to be, if I have the negative, this one negative, I bring this one over. Oh, well, let's leave it like this just for now. And then I could divide by negative 0.5. So x is going to be equal to 20, right? I get 20. So now that I have these zeros, 15, minus 15 and 20, I'm going to add these two together, minus 15 plus 20. So I'm going to find the axis of symmetry. Divide by 2. That's going to give me 5 over 2. And I get x is 2.5. So that means I need 2 and a half increases. 2 and a half increases of, or decreases of 50 cents. So I'm going to say, therefore, 2.5 decreases of 50 cents. So what's two and a half times 50? So two and a half decreases of 50 cents is going to be a um, dollar 25, right? So you can, if you want to multiply that out, you can go 0 0.50 times 2.5 equals, and you know, well, I'll do it just so you can see. So 0 0.5 times 2.5 equals, and I get a dollar 25. So that means I should decrease the price by a dollar 25. And okay, so new price should be, and we had ten dollars. That's what we started with, and we're going to subtract $1.25. That's going to give me $8.75. You can put the dollar signs in because we did that. Okay, so $8.75. Now, the price, you were only asked to gain here for the price, but you could also figure out how many people. So this was my dollars here. This is the number. So the number of people, number, number of sales or number of photos would be um, 30 plus 2 times 2.5, right? 2.5 was the number of increases. So 2 times 2.5 is 5. That's going to give me 35 people or 35 photos sold at 875. And so the revenue will be 35. Now remember, we just got that rate from here. 
So you could have plugged in the X here. Let's do it like that as well, just so you see what I'm talking about. So I did this, and I did this, right? 0 0.5 times 2.5. And I already know what these are. This is going to be 35 times 875. And that's going to give me, oh, I did it here somewhere, $306, 306.25. Okay, so therefore, maximum revenue is $306.25 when 35 photos are sold at $8.75. Okay, so that's, that's your revenue kind of questions. Again, these are questions that will show up grade 10, grade 11, grade 12. There's always little different uh, variations on a theme here. Sometimes you have to figure out a profit first, but it's all basically the same. If you can set up an equation for right now, do your changes, plug them in, find the zeros, find the axis of symmetry, and then you're done just like that. So this would be Kind of like this, right? Halfway. Oh, it should have been moving over this way a little bit. So this is going to be um, put the axis here. So this is becomes 2.5 changes, and we made $306.25. There you go. Hope that helped you out. Um, any questions, feel free to ask them. Don't forget to subscribe and comment, like. Be nice. Bye for now.